Hi, this is Matt with AppWorks, and today's video is going to be about Anchor Buoy and comparing and con contrasting that with the spider graph. So what we're really talking about here is the approach when using the relationship graph of having this, which is a spider graph, where you have one, you know, kind of large structure that everything connects to everything. And this approach, which is Anchor Buoy, where table occurrence groups, which is each of these set of table occurrences, are disconnected from each other and that there's a really consistent naming um, approach where it's very easy to select something. So why would you do that? And here's the example. On, a, uh, on this example database, SpiderGraph, if I wanted to add the phone number of a contact who works at this organization, I'll grab a field and I'll put it on the graph. And I'll say, oh, this is, you know, my current table is company. I'm connected to person. It's just called person. So probably the one called just phone is going to be the one with the phone number because I don't really know between phone and phone two. So I'll just guess, right? So I'll put that on there, exit my layout, and then take a look at my results. And it shows the same phone number for everybody. Um, at a glance, I wouldn't know that this is wrong. Um, but if I, if I change this phone number and I put like a two here, everybody's phone number changes. So this looks like it's right, but it's actually not right because that's, a, that's an invalid relationship for what I'm trying to get to. But it's really hard for me to know that because I'd have to go to the graph to research it. Okay, let's talk about Anchor Buoy now. Let's try that same exact approach. If I go to my layout, add a table or a field, put it on the layout. Here I have really consistent naming. So if I look at my structure, first of all, the thing that I notice is I have related tables, which only is a small set. I don't have every single thing. All the things down here I could use, but they're unrelated, so I'm not going to even try. And I have a really consistent naming convention where I have company employee and company employee phone. So this, this list down here of contacts, these are employees. So I'm going to choose company employee phone and choose the phone number. Exit my layout. And now I see the numbers are actually different. So that in short is really the benefit of Anchor Buoy, and that is why it's a really valuable tool and why it will save you a huge amount of time um, in most of your FileMaker databases. So in the next video, I'll talk about more about the naming conventions and some of the more subtle points of how to do this. Thanks for your time.